A city that was once reduced to rubble by earthquake is now gaining an international reputation for its fine buildings. Napier is becoming known as the Art Deco capital of the world. And this weekend, enthusiasts from all over the world arrived to celebrate the style and its times. John Newton joined in. It's bacon and eggs and jazz for breakfast. The period clothing and accessories reflecting the glamour and optimism of life in the early 20th century. For those into Art Deco, Napier's a magnet. I read an article in a newspaper that sort of mentioned Napier and that it was the Art Deco city of the world or something. So it blew my brain and I rung Susan's equipment and we've got to go. We're very interested in the buildings and the whole 30s atmosphere. The ultimate thrill of the 20s, breaking the bonds of gravity in a two-seater biplane. For the enthusiast, the leather helmet and goggles are essential ingredients. But it's Napier's buildings which they've really come to see. After the devastating 1931 earthquake, Napier rebuilt in the midst of the Art Deco period. I think Napier is totally unique. I think it's very, very special. Um, and I think it deserves world recognition. In fact, for this weekend of the year, Napier seems to have entered a time warp. And for Art Deco lovers the world over, it's the place to be. John Newton, One Network News. Well, that's our news on Sunday. Till next time, good night.